Termination of the school bus contract comes 24 hours before this Fox Files investigation would air tonight into the transportation company that school officials call a worsening situation. Fox Files investigator Mitch McCoy continues our coverage with a close look at Missouri Central Bus Company's inspection records. Hi there, the ripple effects were felt after drivers staged a sick out after a mechanic here says he found a noose at his workstation. This all quickly followed with demands for safety improvements. Now we're learning only 50% of the buses here at the garage passed inspection last school year. Missouri Central School Bus is closing the door on itself calling it quits with St. Louis Public Schools nearly one month after whistleblowers sounded the alarm on an apparent cracked brake piston, a critical part to slowing and stopping a moving school bus. And the mechanic was being told, listen, what's more important now is us passing inspection. Throw the brake pads on there. Last year, we had buses every 10 minutes on a tow truck. Jerry Ellis, a lead mechanic at the school bus lot, alleges his bosses were more interested in putting a Band-Aid fix on the problemed pistons. Uh, they had a big issue where they complained about the cost. Very scary situation. Mike is a diesel mechanic and has been on the job for three decades. He has no affiliation to Missouri Central Bus, which is why we're only using his first name. But he agreed to look at the photo captured by school bus mechanics. There is no Band-Aid fix that you would want to jeopardize somebody's life with. Mike showed us what a brake piston should look like without the split. These would be the pistons. Your brake pad would go on there like that. You can see the end and the pat wear pattern from where it was in. That that crack would propagate. It would either cause a fluid leak or the piston would shatter and fail. Mike says that could be bad potentially catastrophic. It is possible that if they wear a brake pad down to absolutely nothing, that a vehicle can lose, physically lose the brake pad, but that should get a complete and thorough brake job. Safety records obtained by the Fox Files found Missouri State Highway Patrol inspected 235 city school buses last year. Only 50% were approved. The others were either deemed defective or totally out of service. Crossing arm. Each year, Missouri State Highway Patrol inspects every school bus. It's a process that's happening right now in Troop C, which includes the Metro. We have thousands of school buses every day transporting millions of kids to and from school. Corporal Dallas Thompson allowed the Fox Files to watch an inspection at a nearby school. Rock your wheel back and forth, turn it all the way to the right, all the way to the left. Inspectors look over the bus. From steering, lights, suspension, tires, brakes, and emergency exits. A process that took this four-person team four minutes and 46 seconds to do. Inspectors usually do not take wheels off. And in the case of the Missouri Central bus in St. Louis, Thompson says they may not have seen the crack. Some of those moving parts there, unless the wheel and tires taken off and the the wheels turn just a certain direction, it's very possible that we would not be able to see a violation of that mag magnitude, yes. Is it something that Highway Patrol would look at and say, do we need to take the wheels off the buses? Do we need to start digging deeper into finding potential problems? Okay. Yeah, well, that, that would be something that we would have to speak with, you know, the, the professionals that's in the, you know, motor vehicle inspection division. Um, you know, if there, if this was a, a problem that was happening often, then I could say yes. Very seldom do you see these kind of problems that, that occur on a regular basis. School buses are absolutely safe in, this, in the public school system. Earlier this month, the Fox Files pressed Missouri Central Bus Regional Operational Manager Scott Allen for answers. Do we have prior knowledge of issue and allowing a bus on the street? Absolutely not. We would not jeopardize our employees, our students, our children on a school bus if we knowingly have a bus that is unsafe. Would you put your own kids on one of these school buses? If I worked on it myself, yes. But if some of these guys worked on it and some of the buses I've seen, excuse my friends for speak, hell no. As for that particular bus with that alleged problem piston, state troopers inspected it. They say that it looks like that part had recently been replaced prior to the inspection process. As for the other buses here, we won't know what the final grade is of the inspection because it is still ongoing throughout the metro. Those numbers should be released soon. And as for St. Louis's next school bus provider, we should learn more in the coming days. Reporting in St. Louis for the Fox Files, I'm investigator Mitch McCoy.